There is hardly any doubt about a victory for the Netanyahu Lieberman coalition in the Israeli elections on January the 22nd. Opinion polls show Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's conservative Likud party and former Foreign Minister Avigdor Lieberman's nationalist Yisrael Bentanu winning around 35 to 37 seats in the 120-seat Knesset. <laughs> But this is a sharp decline from the 43 seats they had shown in the polls just in October. There is a new candidate who's caused this erosion of their votes. <laughs> Surveys show Naftali Bennett, an old Jewish settler and high-tech millionaire, chipping away at Netanyahu's lead, drawing support from his traditional power base. The head of the Bayet Yehudi party, who wants to annex parts of the occupied West Bank, was shown to be in second place with a predicted 18 seats. <laughs> Netanyahu also faces challenges from the centre and the left. Former Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni has tried without success for now to join her centrist Hatanua party with the also centrist Yeshatid and the Labour Party. Together they could get more than 40 seats. But the Labour leader, former journalist Shelly Yashimovic, has refused because she doesn't accept Livni's strategy. He proposes that if the centre-left bloc loses the election, it could join a government headed by Netanyahu to block the road to religious parties as well as Naftali Bennett. Israel uses the closed list voting system so the electorate votes for a party and not an individual candidate. The seats are then given out proportionately to all parties who gain more than 2% of the vote. As a result of this, the government of Israel tends to always be a coalition.